I mean, I may quit. I don't want to hear one single word from a single Republican Trump loving parent when the public school system stops working for their kid. I don't want to hear one word from any Republican parents that live in rural areas when their school gets shut down and consolidated with another school 20 miles away because theirs doesn't have enough Title I funding to operate anymore. I don't want to hear a single word from any parent of a special needs child that voted for Donald Trump when their kid stops receiving services and supports at school. You you no longer get to play the victim anymore. We will do everything that we possibly can to make sure your child still receives a free and appropriate public school education as it is required by law, but you do not get any extra support or sympathy. I'm gonna need y'all to suffer in silence and figure it out on your own. When Republican parents finally realize how much their public school system has atrophied because of neglect due to Republicans, and when they finally come to the realization that they're going to have to pull their kid out of public school, quit their job, and homeschool their kid. Or even more hilarious, when they finally decide that no matter how many vouchers Donald Trump promises to give them, they're never going to afford private school. I don't want to hear one single complaint out of any one of those parents that voted for Donald Trump. Oh, what are we going to do? My child can't go to a school. That's This is what you wanted. ...has been reelected. What are... Our, what are... What are we black educators going to do? Um, what's the plan? Because I'm not with the shits and giggles of Trump children. I'm not. And I'm definitely not with the shits and giggles of Trump parents. Tell me how you can trust these teachers. Tell me how. I really want you to know. They know fully well that a school is not supposed to be talking about politics, but this lady are now considering some children because their parents supported Trump, voted for him. They seem not to be happy with that. They can do anything to harm these children. It is insane to have people like this with this hatred. I have seen this over and over. I wanted to show you so you can make a good decision with your children. You need to be extremely careful on situations like that. It is important when I look at this happening, I didn't want to do this video, but I just want to show you now going to Bima. Bima tells Jen founder that he may quit his show over Trump. Basically, another loser who hardly has viewers looking to end his show and blame Trump. X is where the action is. And that is where I get this feed. It is important. I show you what is going on. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please endeavor to do that. It will do you no harm. If you share this video. I mean, I may quit. Because I don't want to do another. I did Trump. I did, I, I did all the Trump stuff before anybody. I called him a con man before anybody. I did. He's a mafia boss. I was the one who said he wasn't going to concede the election. I've done it. I've seen this well, then how come he's so hostile to Jimmy Kimmel and not to you? He's very hostile to me. He Is tweets he? about me every week. Oh, really? Oh, yes. Every week he accidentally watches my show and then low ratings loser. Oh, well, yeah. But, I mean, <laughs> I, I just, I'm bored with it. I mean. Uh, so find a new thing to do and not, not do Trump. Do, do, do something else. I, the show is the politics. Yeah, I know, of, uh, right? There's no other thing than, and he's going to dominate the news like he always does. I really want to know who cares. Who even watches this man? You want to quit your show to blame Trump for reasons. I don't know. Trump doesn't even care about what you do there. So. Coming out to tell this lady you want to quit your show because of him, to me, it is ridiculous. Some say, oh, Trump will struggle to cancel my show. Trump will struggle to do this. Trump, you know, when I see this fear mongering, these people struggle to create on daily basis. To me, it is totally insane. I was shocked to see Bimaha having this kind of talking points. At a certain point, I don't even want to pay attention to this, but I'm forced to be. Yeah. Uh, kind of piggybacking on this, 
uh, despite Trump's personal attacks against you and promises of retribution, not to mention many death threats that you have received mm -hmm. since you have been speaking out, you say that you have zero fear yeah. of Donald Trump. <laughs> yeah. Why? Why? Look, I, or okay. how, I should say. I've been to war, okay? <laughs> Donald Trump, I'm just, and I'm not trying to just be partisan shots here. He is a small, weak man who is scared to death of people. He's scared to death of strong people. And so for me, I refuse to be intimidated. I didn't break the law. All I did was get answers for the American people. If you want to come after me, you have to make something up. And by the way, if you make something up, I'm going to use that and become twice the pain in your backside that I ever have been if you're going to come after me for no reason. And the American people won't stand for it. They may have elect Donald Trump, but they still want the law and the justice system to work. Yes, honestly speaking, I don't know this person. I don't know if this is a new host on The View because this is my very first time and I'm seeing her. The view is now claiming that Trump has issued a threat to Adam Kenzika. Hmm? This is a blatant, ridiculous lie. When will ABC realize this show is a complete liability for this constant false claim and cancer aid? Very soon they'll be coming out to. Uh, read legal notes when they do this. I want to see where Trump did this. If you have a video, just play it so we can see. It is crazy. What's your take on the pardon? <sighs> you know, that situation disgusted me in terms of the pardon, only from this standpoint, Chris. Nobody on the planet, you want to be a cynic and you want to act like you would be offended by something like that if you're one of those people out there, fine. But no one within reason would, under, would have a problem with him saying, it's my son. I love him. There's no way I'm sending him to jail. And I have the power to avoid it. Nobody would blame him for that. But that's not where he went. So I didn't have a problem to answer your question directly with the decision that he made to pardon his son. Boo Boo the Fool knew he was going to do that. I don't care who he stood in front of or sat in front of and said that he wasn't going to pardon his son and he was just going to go by the letter of the law. Please, everybody and their grandmother knew he was going to pardon his son. But to come out and to start talking about how it's been a witch hunt and the Department of Justice and others were after him or whoever it was and, you know, GOP rather was after him. Well, wait a minute. What have y'all been doing with Donald Trump all of these years? Now, you can make an argument about the legitimacy of the cases against Donald Trump compared to what wasn't legitimate, etc. That's not the point. The point is it was clearly politicized. You had folks on the left who were hell bent on going after Donald Trump because they were determined to make sure that he couldn't run for reelection or that these elements would get in the way of him possibly winning reelection. And now we know why more than ever, because they weren't confident they would ever be able to beat him. He'd been a Republican nominee since 2016. He beat Hillary Clinton with the Electoral College vote. He wouldn't concede defeat in 2020, parting in his son. It was the weak, pathetic explanation that he gave, which has most critics just shaking their heads and raising their eyebrows and saying, what nerve you have. He's making a lot of sense. I have been watching this guy recently. He is coming closer to the truth. I don't understand what he has been actually doing in the past you know, knowing fully well that this is what was going on, but they could not call that out. Now because they want to build shows, having, you know, viewers from both sides, they are struggling to adjust their tone. That is what I've said with these people. But it is amazing to see how he notices everything. We were so close. It kept fine. It's good. It's right. It's just right. He's an 82-year-old man. Doesn't want to spend the rest of his life visiting his son in prison. Faith in the rule of law. Finally. <laughs> Democrats have a moral perch from which they can judge without shame, hypocrisy. If Donald Trump wins, I'm going to be out of the country. <laughs> Why haven't they done it? They broke the border. Justin Trudeau broke the border. We think it's funny how Donald Trump has officially done more for Canada and he's not even in office yet uh, than Justin Trudeau, our prime minister, has done for the country in years. Um, I had a good call with Donald Trump last night again. Trudeau is at the end mm. of his time. The prime minister.
minister dances while Montreal burns. To mass officers and the prime minister was nowhere to be found. <laughs> Justin Trudeau tweeted to Taylor Swift, asking her to add a stop of her era's tour in Canada. Have a nice Sunday. She's doing this. That's what she did. NBC News can now project that Donald Trump has won the state of Wisconsin, which means he is the winner of this race and will return to the White House. And Donald Trump will be our next president. But Donald Trump will become the 47th president of the United States. CNN projects that Donald Trump has been elected president, defeating Vice President Kamala Harris and making a political comeback unlike any in modern American politics. I'm going to You know what? Donald Trump likes my music. In, please register to vote. Look at this. She's only up by 15 points. Caught Taylor Swift.